everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video. My name is Filippa and today we are going to be playing best of one standard with this mono green build. So I just came back from Barcelona and the season restarted. Magic on Barcelona was amazing. I met Covert Go Blue, I saw friends like MTG Malone, Skura, Ash Leasley, so that was great. Uh, but it's time to get back on the arena grind. New month, new me, and I'm going to get to Mythic. Trust me, I've been there before, but now I work a lot. I was up to number seven on the Mythic ladder. That's really good. I was top 15 in the, the arena ladder many, many times, but since I started working full time, it is rough. I know many of you are in the same boat as me. We work a lot. We work like up to 40 hours a week or more, and then uh, we still play Magic the Gathering. So I'm going to prove you that we can do this. So August is Mythic August on. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think I can get to Mythic this month. I believe so. And to start off this new challenge, I decided to bring Mono Green. It is a fast deck, so it in the beginning of the month, when you are lower on the rank, I'm going to start with some faster decks, try to get as many games as possible, because you don't lose much rank, and when you win, you win more, more games, so your wins count more than your losses when you're lower rank. Then once we get to plot, our strategy is going to change, but I'll let you know that in the future videos. For now, this is what I'm going to run. Mono green build, trying to go very fast on our opponents. We have a Shannon pack leader, a one mana 2-1 that is going to grow every time you cast big spells that have converted mana cost four or more. Four evolving adaptatives, this starts as a 1-1, one, one, but every time you cast something with toughness or power bigger than this, this is going to grow. Green Sun's Twilight to try to get something like our Titan of Industry. Two Scrap Gorgers. First of all, ramps us up, then it becomes a creature with three power. And because it has three toughness, it's usually going to uh, evolving adaptative, getting it bigger. We have one Boon of Busejo. It's just a trick that people are not expecting. Target creature gets plus X plus X until the end of the turn, but X is the greatest mana value. So if this is, for example, if you have a Titan of Industry on the board, it's pretty good. Untap it, so you can attack. And then if they try to attack, you can just use this trick, for example, to survive and then hopefully next turn finish their opponent, or you can just have little with this, hopefully. We have two Gallus Greeters. The goal with this card is to, because we are going to have a bunch of creatures, as you saw, we have a bunch of one and two drops. Uh, we want to ramp with the treasures. We want to put plus one, plus one counters on this and maybe gain life because a lot of mono white, a lot of mono blue, a lot of mono red. So we need those life points. Four beast colors. You know, I play green. I always play this card. This is great. First of all, every time you cast a creature, it doesn't even need to resolve. If they counter it, it still resolves. It still gets the counter because it's on the cast. This gets a plus one, plus one. And then when it dies, you get to distribute the plus one, plus one counters amongst other creatures. We have one Simeon Simulacrum. I like this card because immediately it has an effect to pump one of your creatures. And then it has an earth, so you can again bring it on to put counters on things. And counters are good because, for example, we have Bloated Contaminator. Whenever this deals damage, you proliferate. So you proliferate their toxicity, right? So they get more poison counters. Adaptative, it's oil counter, so you can proliferate that. Uh, then hopefully your pack leader will have counters on, your beast caller, your gala greeters, uh, your simulacrum. You know, you know what I'm getting. Like we will have counters to proliferate. Nisa, Nisa is there for one reason: to ramp us and to ramp us fast. I like this card, 3 mana, 3 3 is already good. And then there's Landfall that's going to give you a bit more mana. We have Tribute to the World 3, just as a way to draw cards, because sometimes we need to. Uh, we have Glorious Sunrise. I mean, I don't know if this card is good. I just want to try it out. In the beginning, on combat on your turn, creatures get plus one, plus one, and trample. Or target land gains at 3 mana. Or you can draw a card if you control a creature with power three or more, or you gain three life. So I like the flexibility. I like that it's something that even if they have a board wipe, will stay on the board. Workshop, Warship, uh, there's a lot of board wipes. So I want something that stays. So if this it dies, it gets a four or four. It also gains you life, which is good against mono red. And you can play, pay the Blitz cost, and it's going to enter with Ace, and it's very good because it has Trample, so Trample Ace, that works very well together. And then it's, you have to sacrifice it, you create the 4-4, and you draw a card. We have 
this kind of a meme. Two mana, it, we have two of these. It's five mana, which is a bit. A natural growth, but at the beginning of each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until the end of the turn. So hopefully when this resolves, you are winning the game. Uh, and I don't know, I, I, ju I just wanted to try it. It seems fun, so we'll try it. We have three Storm the Festival. It looks like we are in a werewolf phase because we have the pack leader, the growth, the festival. And uh, this card is really good. We can get two permanents with five or less mana cost to the battlefield. So we have a bunch of good things that we can get. Uh, then we have two Titan of Industry. This is good to destroy enchantments. It gets some protection if you want with the, like that little bubble thing. Uh, you can gain life, you can create a 4-4. So I love the vers versatility. Nisa. Nisa has the minus seven, right? If this enters, you're playing mono green. I mean, hopefully you have at least six or seven lands, forests. Then this gets, until the end of the turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one for each forest you control and gain trample. So that's usually just GG. We are running two Busejo because there are some artifacts and enchantments that are annoying. Uh, also, it can eat non-basic lands. So if they are playing some greedy mana base, you can try to punish them. And we have 22 for us, so that's the deck. Let's play some games and see how it performs. Yes, this is very good. Uh, Delver of Secrets, okay. So it's mono blue versus mono green. No instant or sorcery, so that's good for us. I will not block. <laughs> Love that. I'm going to attack first. Beast color. Okay. So at least nothing to bounce my beast color right now. So that's good. I could have attacked after and deal one more damage, but I really wanted to test if they had fading hope. So in life, we have to make some choices. When you try to attack first, once again, I just want to see if they have anything before I use my good creatures. And while I have mana open. Okay, so they let it happen. I don't think this is going to resolve, but I'm going to try it anyway. It does resolve. That's great, I guess. Another thirst. So they are really trying to look for something, but they are not reaching it. And I'm applying too much pressure. I have Buna Puseju soon. Uh, okay, so. We can start by attacking with everything. Look, I won't say no to that. It's not like blue as mon like as mono blue as a board wipe or something, you know? I'm not concerned. They're just not getting whatever they need to get. They have encountered one single spell. They had to put a plus one plus one in one of my creatures. Okay, they are okay, they they did create some blockers now, but I think it's going to be too late, to be honest. I'm just going to go for the plus one, plus one. I'm going to use this, depending on what they block. This says trample, so I might as well. Aha, they had one, okay. Staying alive. Not bad. We are proliferating. Jin is great, but it might just be a bit too, a bit too late. Destroying those mono blues, that's what I like to do. 
Yes, I feel like I was born to do this. Just destroy Mana Blue. We did it. Uh, yes, I'll keep this. It's a perfect curve. Really like it. Depends, of course, in what deck we're playing against. But I have hopes. I like this forest. They are cute. And okay. Scrap Gorgon is great. Next turn we have Nisa. And then if Nisa survives, we are in a very good spot. Oh damn it, they do have Nisa too. Two mana. They have a good curve. They have a better curve than me. I might as well attack with everything, see if they block. I, mi I might need to be a bit aggressive here. Uh, because they are ramping faster than me, so I have to go with aggression. So next turn, if my Nisa survives, I have three, four, five. Okay, five is not enough. So they really go for the ramp here, don't they? Yeah, they, they go full on ramp with this list. I respect. I do respect. I might need to let this happen. I need my Nisa. I just need to let it happen. It is what it is. We just need our Nisa. Unfortunately, you cannot attack here. You just have to pass. But next turn, we'll have Storm the Festival. That's pretty good. I have to take this damage from the Polukranos. It's not that bad. We still have 23. They only have two cards in hand. So if those cards are not good, we might actually have an... O uh, whenever these are another known token either. Is this an either? No. So we can block here. I'll make a 4-4. So I think I gain in that trade. And then we have Storm the Festival, and if it's a good one, we can go places. So these will gi give us mana. And then we do Storm the Festival. I mean, not, not terrible, not great either, but not terrible. Uh, I might go for the plus one, plus one, actually. I'm going to keep attacking. They don't particularly have a good block right now, unless they have something in hand. Um, and yeah, next turn we have another Gala Greeters, and then we have a Shannon Pack Leader, so we're going to start getting some treasures. I'll take care of that Nisa. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We don't know much we can do about it. This is about who gets Nisa first, isn't it? Like the big Nisa. Because with the amount of creatures that we have... Unfortunately, I have to keep taking that damage. Unfortunately, that thing has lifelink as well. Ooh. I can start drawing cards. They're going to do it so I don't get the counter. But I really needed the mana, so, you know. It's okay. Should 
Should I go for a plus one plus one and trample? It's actually pretty good. Because then I can attack with everything and they do have to block. Yeah, I think that's the best approach for me to go aggressive in this game. Oh, it worked! I was not expecting that. It did work. Let's go. Yes, I love it. Especially going first. Look at this amazing, beautiful curve. I feel sorry for my opponent. I do like their sleeves though, so... Ugh, never mind. Mono red. Okay. You know why I don't like mono red? Because nobody likes mono red. Mono green is better than mono red, than mono white, than mono blue. Not than mono black though. Mono black might be better. So it's mono black, then mono green, then mono white, then mono red, and last, mono blue. But like, very last. It's like mono red, mono blue, in the floor. That's my monocolored ratings. Look, I just hope they don't lightning strike my scrap quarter. Yeah, of course. <laughs> ah, I need to play on the... On the... I don't know the name. I know I'm kind of in a tricky situation because I don't have mana. And if, even if I draw mana, I need a lot of mana. Why did I say it? Like, when I say it, it just happens, like... Come on, we going to... Ay, ay, ay. More. Look. I'm not winning this race. Oh, see, land. But, to be honest, I need to attack, because if they play a creature... If they play a spell, then what, what am I going to do? I have to hope that they only have lands. This is 5 mana. This is 6 mana. This is 5 mana. Okay. Green? Not a common. Oof, that's going to enter as 4, 6, 8. That's it. I should not have said lightning strike. I really shouldn't. Oh, we are against Gollum. Smigol. Yes. I, I love this. I mean, come on. Beautiful. We can start with my evolving adaptative and then mist color. Why? Why mono red? I'm but okay, now my end is better, I think. Kinda need lands, but at least with the green sun's twilight I can try to find lands. I'm not going to say it now. I'm having a deja vu. Look, I just hope they don't lightning strike my scrap quarter. Yeah, of course. <laughs> ah. Ah! No! Haha! -ha. Let's go! Bulleted Contaminator for the win! And by the way, if I deal damage with the Bloated Contaminator, then I can proliferate my Adaptative. Which is pretty good. Ancestral Anger. Okay. What else? Yeah, I'll take it, you know? I don't want to lose my Contaminator. Yes, you might have... A Lightning Strike. Oops. Of course. Oh, we did get a land, so that's pretty good. I might just go to... 
I might just go... Do I go two or three? I might... Should have gone two. Okay, I'm going to keep attacking. Okay. So next turn, unfortunately, we still don't have enough mana for the festival. We'll be one short. This is okay. Play with fire. Okay, that's fine. So I'll take four damage. Two. Yeah. I might need to chill out and not attack, to be honest. As much as I would love to, we do have Storm the Festival next. Uh, and we probably end up winning the game if we have a good one. Yes, Stormseeker is honestly fine. I'll just block. Okay, so. Block. Block. They do have something. Yeah, but they have to use it there. So then I do take some damage. They do get a couple of cards. What? Okay, th those are pretty damn good though. Okay, I need you to be good, cause next turn four damage to my face. Come on, give me something. I mean, it's not terrible, I guess. I gain some life, and I can block. Yeah, it's not that bad. I am at three. That needs to be a land. Cry. Cry! I did not have fun. I lost. This is a yes. I like it. Could be a bit more aggressive, but we are on the play, so I'm not going to complain. If we do have a 2-drop next, or even a 1-drop, what is that? Okay, no idea. Sus. Very sus, but fine. We do need mana for this to work. This is not one of those fast ends. Um, unfortunately, we need something. That's okay, I guess. Kinda. Okay, we did get a land, so that's pretty good. Now they have to choose. Okay, they just take the damage. So we have four mana next, which doesn't really cast anything. We might need to wait. But we have a high chance of getting land. We still have a couple of turns to do so. It's annoying. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. I'm gonna try to find a land. Land and scrap Gorger, that's pretty good. So that way next turn we can go for... Oh, they just stay here. Uh, next turn we can go for the Glorious Sunrise, give Trample to our things. I can vibe with that. Depends, of course. Or even Warship. And then we can go for Storm the Festival if we get a sixth land. So not looking too shabby. good because it's going to apply some pressure and then even if there's a board wipe hopefully we'll stay in the board and and then I can get mana with this we trespasser that's fine I mean 
We did get a land, so we might not even need to. Let's just see what we get. Mm -mm. Just going to go aggressive, honestly. Why not? Next turn we can try to blitz this. Maybe that's even what I should have done, just blitz this. Probably would have been better. Can deal with everything. Okay. One, two, three, six. So they can have farewell now. Sinful. Sinful is okay. Yeah, I'm going for the warship. It already has trample and ace, so I might as well draw a card. We make a 4 4, and we draw another card. Get yeah, 6. Shield is good. Chili is really good, but... That's fine, that still happens. Still make a 4-4. Four, four. I think I'm going to draw. Even though I'm going to lose life, it's not that much life. Next turn I can try to pressure to finish the game. I can try to go for Storm the Festival as well, see what we can get. Another Blitz would be great, but I, I think we only have one in the deck, so that's not good. I need something like a natural growth. So another Trespasser. I just need to go for the drawing again. Ooh, this is going to be good. Okay, next turn I think it should be it. If they don't have a board wipe. And if they do, I still think we are in advantage. Okay, that's a lot of life, that's okay. That's also fine. Because the idea is that we finish them next. Just going to take the damage. Do they want to get the storm the festival? That makes the sense. I think this should be it. I didn't do the math, but math is for blockers or whatever they say. I hope it's enough. Let's think. Seven. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even have to use that. <laughs> Math is for blockers, right? That's why they're faster to do it. That's it. Gold tire four. Not bad. I mean, we just restarted the season. You know, it's not great. Uh, I'm going to try to go to Mythic this season. Not, not to lie. I, I think we can do it. I really think we can do it. So the goal in each um, video is to like go up again so now we just went from silver to gold so hopefully in a couple of videos will be plot and then it gets a bit more trickier but i've been i've been mythic before i've been seven mythic in which is really good um so we can do it i'm sure we can do it yes i can keep this uh, i wish i was first but that's okay uh yes i'll start with my pack leader then we're going for the Beast Caller. It might be soldiers. Uh, nope, it is not. We're just going to attack. 
play Beast Color next turn. We don't really have anything on curve. We can do Pack Leader, it's not terrible. Um, okay, that's pretty annoying. Okay, now it's better. Am I right? You leave and you learn. So next turn we have four mana, potentially five. I can do Workshop, She, Worship, but I would prefer to Blitz it. But if I don't have anything else to do, I'll do that. Okay, we do have something else to do instead. Does it resolve though? By the way, it's so good that the Beast Color is on the cast. It does resolve. Okay, so I'm going to attack. Uh, I'm actually going to attack with the two ones as well. If they want to go for the trade, they have a board wipe, uh, if I ever saw one, by the way. There's a board wipe next turn. I'm convinced of it. How do I know? When you know, you know. Draw a card, then gain a million life. Okay, fair enough. It's like, with the life that they are gaining, they would just trade instead of... Okay, they do not have a board wipe. That's an interesting decision then. I would have played differently. Or maybe they do, but they didn't get the land. I think that might be it. They were like, yeah, but if I get the land... But they did not get the land. Now if they do have a board wipe, at least whenever this dies, I create a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, they did not get it. They have the land, but it's tapped. Honestly, I might just, just attack with everything. See what they do. And not commit more to the board. Because I don't need to. So this is 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 5. They are at 1. Okay. So even if I did play the Beast Caller, I would only plus the Beast Caller. And then they did block the Beast Caller, so it would be the same. Okay, we got there. We got there. Easy game. Easy game. New season, but we are going to get out of silver very fast. I keep this. Pretty good. I like it quite a lot. It has a lot of potential. Unfortunately, we are not on the play, which I would love for us to be, but that's fine. Keep. Okay, we did get a land, so that's good. That's one of the things I really wanted to. It's, this seems like Esper control, maybe? Oh, okay, no idea. We're going to start dealing some damage. Next we have Nisa, which is great if it resolves. Okay, that will enter tapped. It this isn't like a control dish deck. I'm afraid of board wipes, but... Okay, that's... that's fine. That's okay. Just thinking what they might have. This ordering was not great, by the way, I'm aware. Keeping Busejo just in case. I feel like they don't have mana. So I might not give them the mana that they want. We are not helping them out.
Okay, down to four, not bad. Okay, they found the land, but it's tapped. Plus one, plus one, and tremble. And attack with everything. That should do it. That should do it. Easy game. Let's go. Fast games. Keep. That's a keep if I ever saw one. One, two, three. I mean, the sky's the limit. We're on the play. The gods aligned for this one, let me tell you that much. Don't care. Because look, we have the curve. Nobody can beat the curve. Oh my god, that's annoying though. It's okay. It's still okay. Because we have the curve. So let's deal some damage here. Hopefully they don't have more ossifications. Enough is enough. Three mana. Adeline would also be not great. Okay, that's... You know what? That's fine-ish. That flies now. Great. Ew. We have a bloat contaminator. Okay, so we can start with the beast color, then contaminator. And then we put a plus one plus one counter. Uh, okay, I'm going to attack with it all, try to get a bit uh, aggressive, because I think that's the way we win. They have more cards than us. This card is not great. So let's try to finish this game. Okay, that's pretty good, but they cannot attack right now. I told you. You can ju you just cannot beat a curve. That's how it works. One, two, three, four. I declared thumbs war. And we won this war. It's like that. I, I don't I don't make the rules. I just don't make them. Keep. It's it's good. I mean, low curve. We like it. It's it's always good to have these one, two, then three. You can use a one and a two if you have them. So it has potential. I might go adaptative, scrap gorger, and then turn three. Maybe be able to cast two two mana spells because of the ramp from beast color from sorry from scrap gorger. So I might go like that. It depends if I get land. Or if I get another one drop. And of course, what they are playing. Because if they are playing something sneaky... I mean... As long as it's not mono blue, we should be fine. Okay, that's fair. We will grow because the toughness is bigger. This deck plays uh, Lightning Strike. They might go for the strike. They might just go for... Or that. That works too. Just trying to deal as much damage as I can. Opponent's still at 16. But... We have some potential. They missed land drop, so that's good for us. I'm going to create a treasure. It's always good if we get something like Nisa. They didn't do anything, so I think I will win this game. Unless there's a board wipe for 3 mana that I'm not thinking of. But I think even 3 damage like Brother Uzen doesn't deal with Beast Color. So... Yeah. I would still be applying some pressure.
Oh, they... Oof. They just went to the discard phase, so I think I just win. Uh, I'm going to just put plus ones right now. I'll do that again. Plus one, plus one. This seems like enough. Oh, I cannot do it again, that's true. Ah, treasure, sure. So, what I can do here is... Attack, 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 attack. Even if they deal with one creature, don't think that can do it. No, that cannot do it. Easy. Easy game, because my opponent got screwed. I mean, I'm going to say no, because... My opponent didn't get lands. Sucks. I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, after playing the deck, I think it's okay for the beginning of the season when you are low and you don't get punished for losing. But this deck can lose a lot, <laughs> especially against mono red. I mean, I had some tough games as you saw. Uh, but if you wanna have some fun, this can also win, as you saw. It's not tire one. If you want something really good, go see my latest Grixis video. That one was like amazing. Uh, but also maybe just to later on when you're like plot and above. But if you are bronze, silver, or even gold, this will do fine. Uh, that's it. Let me know what would you change in the deck. And if you had fun, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.